Hey guys, this is MJ with, with another tutorial of how we can use Windows 10 for basic video editing. And it also provides with the option to add 3D effects into our videos. Well, if you don't have any video editor or don't want to install any open source video editing software you don't trust, then there is an existing app that comes free with the Windows 10 which you can use for basic video editing. And for some reason, Instead of creating a new app for video editing, we can enjoy the video editing functionalities into the same app which is photo. So to open it, you can search it in the search tool. Or you can go to the start menu and can find it in the programs list. Or if you have pinned it to access it conveniently, you can definitely find it here too. And since it has already connected to every photo and video we have in our system, it will give us a suggestion to select from in the form of timeline. Anyhow, here on the top left, you can go to album to select certain type of videos and photos related to an event if you have created one. Then there is a people tab. Here you can activate the facial recognition feature if you want and can create groups by writing the name of the person in your photos and videos. Well all the tabs in the menu are pretty much simple and user friendly and in this tutorial I'm mainly concerned with the video projects tab. So select it and add a project by clicking on this plus sign. After opening the very first thing it will ask you is to write the name of your video or project. Well for the purpose of demonstration I am going to add an intro video so I am naming it intro. We surely can add videos and photos by clicking on this add button. Or simply we can drag and drop them which I normally do. Now to edit it drag your video to the storyboard and the moment you will add it to the storyboard it will activate the editing options and we can collapse the pane and can view the video by turning the full screen mode on. Anyhow here is my intro video which is simple and not much going on within it. Well, the first option is to add the title card. If you want to name a particular section of your video, adding a title card helps the viewers to understand what is being discussed or shown in this section. Now select the option and here you can see that you can increase or decrease its duration, which is 3 seconds for now and I'm keeping the same. And also you can change the background color if you want. Let's say select this one and if you don't like any of the default options click on this plus sign and choose the one you like. And then select text. Since it's the intro section of my video, let's write intro here. And we surely can use one of the provided animated style options to make it look appealing. Let's say select this one. And then click on done. Now let's see how it looks. Well, it doesn't seem bad. Anyhow, next we can trim the video by selecting the trim option. And here, by dragging these handles, we can trim our video and can keep the portion we want. 
Let's cancel it to select the other option which is split. This option allows us to cut those spaces we don't want in our video. Let's cancel it and select text. Write the text here. And I don't want this text to be shown on my title. Instead, I want it to be shown on my intro video. So just move this handle to where you want it to be shown. And also decrease the timing by dragging these handles. Since it needs to be simple text, just select simple in the animated style option and then select layout of the text here. Then click on done. And the next option is motion which you can choose of your choice by selecting any it is providing. And the other option is 3D effects. By selecting it will give some default options to select from. And you can edit your 3D effects by selecting edit option. Moreover, you can search a 3D effect in the 3D library. Let's see some from words and symbols. Anyhow, let's come back and select one from the defaults. Let's say select this one named Atomic Motion and adjust it according to my need. Now let's see how does it look. Well, let's add one more. How about bubbles everywhere? And adjust it accordingly. Now let's see it again. and certainly it looks appealing. Moreover, you can choose color effects under filter option. And the speed of the video can also be increased or decreased under speed option. Well, people also rotate the certain part of their videos to make it look appealing, which can be done under rotate option. And you also can delete one clip or all if you want. Anyhow, if you want to add some background music, you sure can by clicking on the background music tab. Here it gives you options to select from. Moreover, it also provides us with the option of adding custom audio files, which can be some music, narration, or sound effects, etc. Well, you can see some more options under the ellipsis icon. 
Here you can duplicate the current project or you can create a backup file and can choose a theme of your choice and especially the landscape of the finished video. Mostly 16-9 ratio is good for YouTube videos. Moreover, if you want, you can send feedback about the app and can also change its setting by selecting the settings. Anyhow, it's time to see the results of this app. Let's click on the finished video option and select the quality. I'm selecting medium, which is also a good quality. Anyhow, choose the one you want and click on export and give it a destination folder to save it. I'm selecting the desktop for my convenience. And after exporting, the app itself has opened the file and here you can see that the quality is good. Now, let's see it with VLC player. Well, certainly the app is good for doing some basic video editing, especially adding some 3D effects. And this is how you can use Windows 10 Video Editor app for some basic video editing. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.